You seen Patience again? I thought you were a writer now. Just the one book. People seem to like it. I don't think I'm ready to read it yet. You are recently divorced. Rosie's at her friend's house. They're working on a science project. I only see her two nights a week. <laughs> His choice was that, Paul. Is this really how you wanted everything to turn out? Every day, it hurts. I hate my life. You're tortured by what you see as your failures with your patience. This isn't therapy, so it's okay all of a sudden. Don't tell me you haven't had fantasies about us. Your failures with your parents. My father's sick. He's got late stage Parkinson's. Just tell me for once what you really think. You're a therapist who has remarkably little insight into your own behavior. You think I'm unprofessional. You've always thought that. You have done nothing but judge me since the minute I came back into therapy. I can't keep coming to you for the mothering I didn't get. I just need to be with more people. Did you meet someone? Her name is Wendy. We live on the same block. I'm sure we'll run into each other again. This is the point where I'm supposed to say my door is always open, but I'm not going to say that. I understand. Our time is up. Hi, I'm Adele Browse. Paul West. Please come inside. Thank you. You'd rather not be here. Very astute. Oh, the truth is, I don't really mind. As long as I leave with... with what I came for. You said on the phone you're in need of a refill of your Ambien prescription? Yeah, that's correct. And I'll, I'll take that to go, please. I think I, I explained that my sleep has been difficult. My doctor in Baltimore was renewing the prescription long distance, but now he's decided to stop, so he wanted me to find somebody local, so you're in the neighborhood. And you had an open appointment, so... Got it. Look, I should have been more clear with you when, when I called yesterday. I've actually been in treatment for the last 20 years, on and off, and I'm, I really didn't come today to continue that process. I understand that. Okay. Though I, I can't just dispense medication without... Yes, I understand. You've got your job to do. Look, if you want to ask me some questions, just fine, go, go ahead. Then you can send me on my way. With whom are you in treatment? Gina Toll. From the Washington Baltimore Psychoanalytic Institute. I'm not familiar with her. Well, she was my teacher at the Institute. She's one of the best analysts around. She was my supervisor for many years, and then she was my analyst. She saw my ex-wife and me for, for quite a while. Together? Yes, together. Sounds pretty all-encompassing. Yeah. And you're a practicing psychoanalyst? Yes. OK. Uh, why don't you tell me exactly what's been going on with your sleep? Uh, well, at the beginning, it was just falling asleep. But, you know, and then I would take a pill, and I'd be set for six hours or so. But not anymore? Not, not anymore. I, I wake up after two or three hours. And what's your experience of that waking time? Are you anxious? No, no, not particularly, no. Worried? I'm tired. What do you find yourself thinking about? I find myself wishing that I had more Ambien. Listen, I, I've never slept well. I've always had a problem falling asleep. Once you are sleeping, do you sleep deeply? Are you restless? Not really. Frequent dreams, nightmares? They're not uncommon with people with sleep issues. The past several months, I, I have been waking up with a recurring dream, but... Look, I'm not interested in discussing that. I know what the dream is about. I know what I've been suppressing. I know what my unconscious is trying to communicate with me. I... And you're not interested in telling me even in the general? No. I'm not. No, right? Would you consider telling me what it is you feel the dream has been communicating to you?
My father died of Parkinson's two years ago. This is why you're seeing the neurologist next week. You're afraid you may have Parkinson's? My hand has been shaken for three months. Have you had any other symptoms? Stiffness, unsteadiness, I drop things. <clears throat> Would you say this fear has Look, some- It's not a fear, doctor, it's a fact. My hand shakes, my father had Parkinson's. That's why I'm seeing the neurologist, so the neurologist can address it. This, this concern about Parkinson's, do you think it has something to do with the dream that you've been having? Well, I've been actively ignoring the clear symptoms of the disease, and my unconscious has been trying to get me to stop ignoring it. It must have been very difficult to deal with your father's death. Was this during your treatment with Gina Toll? Did you feel... Look, please, enough. I've been over this a hundred times with Gina. But my anger at my father for walking out on us when I was a teenager, my mother's suicide when I was 17, my need to save people as a result. I've been over this again and again with one of the best analysts on the East Coast. I do understand it all. <sighs> There's really nothing that, nothing more for you to contribute to that. I, I just want to make sure I understand something. Sure, fine. You said Gina Toll was your teacher. Mm -hmm, mm hmm And then she was your supervisor? Yeah. And after that, your analyst? Yes. And she also saw you and your ex-wife as a couples therapist? Mm -hmm, correct. Yeah, I see. What do you mean, you see? What are you implying? I'm not implying anything. I'm just trying to understand the methods of one of the best analysts on the East Coast. Are you fucking kidding me? What are you, 36 years old? You've been practicing for, what, three or four years at the most? Who the fuck are you to question my treatment over the past two decades? You've been resistant to discussion since you came in. I'm trying to get as full a sense as I can of why that might be. I'm sorry if I offended you. You seem distressed. Well, of course I'm distressed. I haven't slept all week. <sighs> my wife's divorced me. I'm alienated from my kids who live with her and this man that she's going to marry. And I now realize I've got a disease which is going to confine me to a chair, trapped, paralyzed, five years or so, and probably kill me within 10. I think I have a right to be distressed? I think I have a right to maybe have sleep problems, don't you think? Of course you have a right. Yeah. Do you have someone, a friend, a companion, another adult to talk to? You mentioned you were college friends with Dr. Burdick, who referred you here. Did you talk with him? Do, do I... Uh... No, well, we're not really friends. We're more old acquaintances. But, but yes, I do have somebody to talk to. I, her name is Wendy. We've been seeing each other, and, uh, yeah, I talk with her. We... we talk. Is that who you were on the phone with in the waiting room? Yes. You told her you were somewhere else. What was it, the grocery store? Well, she's 37, I'm 57. I, I haven't gotten to the place where I feel comfortable telling her I have Parkinson's. Well, I, I can understand not wanting to tell your girlfriend about the possibility of having Parkinson's, but letting her know you have a therapy appointment isn't exactly the same thing. You're not seeing me for Parkinson's. I mean, it's, it's all related, isn't it? How's that? Well, it's because of the disease I'm having the dream, and because I'm having the dream, I can't sleep. And because I can't sleep, I'm here. About to be late for a movie, waiting for you to to write a prescription. How was your sleep last night? I I woke up at half past two. I couldn't get back to sleep. You woke up from the dream. Mm -hmm. 
You used very similar language when you spoke both about the possibility of having Parkinson's as well as your experience of being a therapist. You talked about Sunil being stuck up in the spare room, about feeling trapped like mice in a glue trap with your patients. That same language of escape and entrapment came up when you spoke about Gina. I'm wondering if your dream has similar imagery. No. Actually, it doesn't. Thank you for this. May I ask you one last thing? Yes. You said you had the dream again last night? Yes. Here's what confuses me. If you figured out several days ago what the dream means, if the content has been communicated from your unconscious to your conscious mind, why are you still having it? I've got to go. Enjoy your movie. Thank you. If you decide you want to talk any further, my door is always open to you. What did you just say? Max. Is everything okay? Hey, Dad. What are you doing here? I came to live with you. <laughs>